really is just one of those people that I think we are so fortunate to have him in Omaha. We just lucked out when we got him and when we got Allison along with him. There are people that could be anywhere in this country or world. Ken has been a visionary leader of the Cancer Center. He came here uh, more than 10 years ago directly from the National Cancer Institutes where he had a very, very successful career and has continued to grow the research, the education, and the clinical programs at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center, originally the Epley Institute. Over the years, Dad and Ken strategized and dreamed about what the Med Center and specifically the Cancer Center could be and had great plans to work together forever and ever. And then unfortunately, Dad got sick um, and Ken was intimately involved in his treatment protocols and, and um, delivered a daily dose of compassion and encouragement. He's one of the best people I know. He's just a wonderful, warm, caring, super smart uh, person. He was the go-to guy when my mother was sick because besides being brilliant and being able to help her through all the medical questions and terminology and all that stuff, um, he's, he was so personally wonderful to her that it made her feel safe and, and cared for. Dr. Ken Collin is a very humble human being. He can sit and talk with anybody of any category and make them feel very good. The first thing that just popped into my head is the cattleman's ball. Having his hat on backwards, which he will kill me for saying, because I think he did it two years in a row. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just think of Ken, he loves that cattleman's ball. That's kind of also who Ken is. He loves the people, he loves meeting the people, he loves learning about their lives. Um, he's turned that whole um, piece of the medical center into a huge thing. Dr. Cowan was critical to the success of the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. He put enormous amounts of time into meeting with donors, developing material, uh, hosting people, giving tours, um, designing what this next generation best in class cancer center would look like. He is really the reason that we were able to so quickly and successfully raise the dollars that were needed uh, in order to have this project move forward. It was because of the confidence in him and his leadership that I believe donors really got excited about what we were going to do. And now taking it to a level that's, I think, going to be one of the best in the nation, if not the world, is something that real legends are made of. Ken, congratulations on this tremendous award. I'm so proud of you and I love you endlessly.